So the student has done his reply and tabbing back to the instructor. Just checking if the instructor. Yes, that's right. Um, so if I go back to the forum now, I can see that that post now has a reply. Let's have a look at it. And there's the student's reply. You notice that I have some controls here um, that the student doesn't have. For example, the split command, which allows me to move a, um, a discussion thread to another forum. So now I can listen to the student. In my country, the most popular hobbies are indoor sports because we have really bad weather in my country. So sports such as uh, pool and uh, swimming indoors and darts. Okay, so I have uh, listened to the student's reply to the question. Now I'm going to ask an extension question and I do that by pressing rely here, reply here. That brings up the editor again and I might put some introductory test uh, text here and insert another Nanagong recorder Java applet. What I might do is ask um, the student uh, about whether he prefers indoors or outdoors sports. Okay, and are you happy to play sports or do activities indoors or would you prefer to be outdoors? Check my recording. Okay, and are you happy to play sports or... That looks alright, so that goes in there like that. And all of this can be happening while the student is online as well, so it's near real time. All you need to do is have some way of telling the other student or the uh, teacher that your post has been submitted. And you can do that in any number of ways using Skype or um, an online chat room, anything like that. So now I'll go back as a student and I might just refresh that page. That should bring up the next reply in this discussion thread. Okay, as you can see as well, um, people's identities are useful here. So this is the standard icon for um, a person without a, a photo uploaded, and, and these are photos that I've uploaded to, uh, for my for my myself as a teacher. So the student now listens to this. Okay, and are you happy to play sports or do activities indoors or would you prefer to be outdoors? Hmm. And now the student can reply again, which is what I'm going to do as a student. So uh, a little bit of text, if uh, desired, and then the Java applet. Oh, actually, I prefer being outdoors. I don't mind the cold weather. I quite like skiing. Check that. Oh, actually, I prefer being outdoors. That looks all right. So I press OK that gets inserted and then I press post to forum as the student. You may have noticed as I was um, skipping back between Internet Explorer and Firefox the Java applet seems to work fine for both of those. It's a different version of the Java for each of them. So as you can see here now we have a wonderful little conversational thread. And so this can be used for assessment and it can also be used as an actual learning activity, a skills development activity. Going back to the teacher's view now, one last final thing I want to show you. 
and I'll just refresh my screen so I can see the whole thread. You may remember at the beginning of this presentation I mentioned that this forum had been set up um, using separate groups. So the reason we did that, there it is, all participants, these are all the groups that I've created. And I'm still learning how to use groups and groupings in Moodle, our online learning management system. But essentially what you can do is you can allow different students um, to be in different groups and some of those students can be in common groups and uh, if they're in uh, an activity like this which is defined as being separate groups then you can do things like control one group of students being able to read but not reply or rather read and listen but not reply to another group's posts and so as um, groups come and go through your course the whole history of what other students have done in learning activities for speaking skills can be um, used to help following learners as well. And of course all of this is um, kept within the course for as long as you keep that course. One word of warning, um, the Nanogong um, HTML area um, modification um, does not back up properly so that when you go to back up your course those recordings won't come with it. Hopefully the next version will address that issue. For now if you really want to keep a recording the only way to do that is um, by using this tool here that allows you to download a particular recording and save it to your computer in these formats. So there we have it. Message boards and speaking activities in Moodle using Nanogong. Fantastic.